Yes. I'm out. <laughs> no, no, you're not. Or no, my little bunny for you tomorrow. Oh. Yeah. yeah. Hey, anyone who's around tomorrow, Patrick Rothfuss and Davey and I will be doing a my little pony panel. Yes. <laughs> but hopefully you guys all found the uh, this is Galaxy Fire Radio. Um, we'll do what I normally do. We will we'll, we'll go through introductions. Then we're gonna go over a little bit of news, and then. I'm going to make you dance for me! You can say this all day. I know. Yeah, I kind of got the lost flag. Yeah, but, but the great thing is, is you guys are going to be the ones that benefit from what I put them through. The dancing is hazardous. <laughs> yeah, she might put someone's eye out with this thing. So, we'll start, <laughs> not <my> man. <laughs> we'll start down there, Teresa, and introduce yourself. And also say a little bit why you are a, I guess, a quote-unquote phobia. Um, my name is Teresa Bain. I'm a vampirologist. I write historical nonfiction reference books about vampires, demons, angels, the occult, and, and stuff. And I love Doctor Who. I always have. I, I just love. I, I love the character, no matter who the actor is or the incarnation. I love the heroics. I love the morality. I love the story. I love the British accent. Debbie, you're a liquor. I don't want to do this. You have to do this. <laughs> She's swallowing the. <laughs> I'm Allegra, um, this is Shane Milchick, and I'm here with Shane Up too. Okay. Um, and I'm a Doctor Who fan for the same reason that I'm on this panel, because Davey made me. <laughs> but I, I, will, I will admit that after my initial skepticism, if the show really won me over, um, um, don't wink. <laughs> don't turn away. This show has also been responsible for some of my, you know, recurring nightmares and so on. Oh, and, and, and I watch it for these sexy men and sexy ladies having sexy adventures with time. Yes. Sexy time. Sexy time. <laughs> Andrew Meyer, other than being on this panel a couple of weeks ago, I have absolutely <coughs> no claim on for being on this panel. <laughs> now, so. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh. That's, not, that's not fair at all because Drew did a very magnificent Doctor Who costume for the Geek Auction at What the Hell Con a couple of weeks ago and raised quite a large amount of money. Where the lady is going to dance up on the doctor. <laughs> <laughs> I did the Macarena. <laughs> that was amazing. <laughs> I'm a fan, big fan. Um, I put a, I put a challenge, um, I guess June of last year, to complete all of the classic foods that were on DVD, watch them in the year, and um, I'm more than halfway now run through it. I haven't seen my wife in a while, but um, <laughs> I've watched a lot of Doctor Who, so we're, you know, it bounces out. <laughs> I'm Angela Pritchett. I kind of sit on this little podcast to make everyone laugh, and I'm generally the, the pretty one on there. Next to a Whoa, Shane Bell being just offended. Hey, 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 you have a male regular episode. Ooh. So, so, yeah. 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 Companion yeah. Cup Fight. Go down. Yeah. <laughs> the Tartus has a jello wrestling ring. I really like Dr. Who. I do lots of costumes, like creepy ones that scare Allegra. Please stop reading. Don't blink, Allegra, don't blink. Usually I would be doing that costume, which would also terrify her. I think I'd need to sit in the corner of her bedroom, like her convention room, and just wait until she goes to sleep, and then like, okay, <laughs> so. it's terrifying. But um, these people are allegedly my friends. <laughs> I kind of... Well, you did try to poison us this week. You did. Uh-oh. So <laughs> who's his yeah. who's friend? Okay, well, um, yeah, I like Dr. Who. You're trying, Rich. Hello, I am podcasting's Rich Secret. I have uh, been podcasting for many, many years. Davey and I uh, uh, did one that is currently on hiatus, the uh, amazing Pulp Adventure starring Mr. Adventure, an old-time radio show, which is a lot of fun. Yes. Um, I have also been uh, helping Davey on the tech side of podcasting stuff when he has questions and whatnot. Yeah. And also made the uh, opening animation graphic uh, whatnot. That the we, outstanding uh, opening Oh, thank yes. you. I appreciate that, yeah. Uh, it was fun trying to recreate but not make it exact. Uh, the, the Just the so we don't get sick. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Um, and uh, uh, Davey, uh, he's, he's been my Doctor Who Yoda for, for many of you now. And uh, I got my start uh, reading one of the storybooks about uh, uh, Colin Baker, and then I read one about uh, Tom Baker and was very confused why the same character looked so different. 
Because <laughs> he didn't explain what a regeneration was. I just knew that it made him different. So I was like, well, okay. And then uh, a few years later, I saw one of the episodes, one of the classic episodes. It was one of the bad ones. Don't remember which one because I was just like, wow, this is really shitty acting, except for the doctor fella. And, uh, oh, they just bumped into that Cameron Wall that moved. All right. <laughs> then uh, I saw the, uh, the Fox movie. And I was like, well, maybe it's not as bad as I thought. And then Rose came out, and I was pretty much hooked from there. Your turn. Sorry. Um, what are we doing? The introduction to why I like Dr. Who? Yeah, you? basically. Yeah. Okay. Uh, my name is Jason Buter, and I'm creative director of the <coughs> tag cinematic band of filmmaking gypsies known as Mad Ones Films. Um, we were here promoting last night. We screened Act 3 of a short film trilogy called The Gospel According to Booth's Bullets and Hot Pink Jesus. Um, and I've, I've, I've really been a, a, a lifelong Who nerd. I, I grew up in, you know, in just to the left of the middle of nowhere in Missouri uh, during the early 80s. So my exposure to Doc Who came from Saturday night at like 9.45. I, I would get like between 35 to 65 minutes of Doctor Who. Like, and then the channel would just cut out because he, the guy running the antenna fell asleep or something. <laughs> um, but it's like, you know, I mean, just like seeing like see the Daleks, I'm like, I don't know why I'm scared of a salt and pepper shaker, but it's terrible. <laughs> um, and they'd seen like the 30 foot long scarf that just seemed to keep growing and growing and growing and then being able to see regeneration I'm like but that's not the guy that was on there last okay he's got vegetables in his pocket fine whatever it's fine um and it was just just uh, i just fell in love instantly with the character of the doctor not who was playing that character but just it just it always entranced me um you know sort of to, tended to forget about it a little bit due to my own grievous errors and capricious uh, young adulthood and then Russell T. Davies um, reignited my, my passion beyond my wildest expectations. And then Stephen Moffat came along, and I want to make out with that guy's brain so bad. <laughs> <laughs> um, I don't, yeah, I don't want to make out with a whole lot of dudes' brains, um, but in a heartbeat, I yes, I would, I would take it in a heartbeat. Um, so that's I love for Doctor Who, I guess. And and then and then Davies. I mean, it's like I mean, he's a bloke wearing a skirt, and he pulls it off fantastic. <laughs> Um, all black, and I'm kind of dying to know if you're wearing like TARDIS panties underneath. Kill the girl on the inside. And best line of all time. And I'm the host of this insanity, which I'm, I'm very, very proud of. Um, I can't believe we've actually lasted a year now. Um, because I started this off as a little thing to get me through grad school, and I feel absolutely insane because I couldn't write. I didn't have the time to write, so I decided. Hey, Rich, I want to do a Dr. Who video cast. I Can said, well, first me? off, Davey, you're not going to make any damn money. Yeah. That's the first thing. Yeah. And yet I have sponsors. Yeah, you do. So. <laughs> <laughs> I, I've gotten so many awesome shirts. Yeah. Um, so do we get, when do we get paid? You get paid in love. Uh, you're I get paid tacos in fear. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that can go so many ways. Tacos and pork chops. Yes. <laughs> tacos. You're about to see pork chops. So, Normally, we would be screening an episode of uh, Doctor Who. We were planning originally to watch um, Curse of the Fatal Death, but they decided to give the projector to somebody else. Let's do the two doctors for Clayton. <laughs> no, no. no. I, I actually got something better. Let's reenact it with Shadow Bones. Yeah. <laughs> no, I actually got something better. First, what we're going to go. I am the master. I am the master. <laughs> we're going to talk about some of the, the news that has just come out about. <laughs> About the filming. So the stuff that you know that you haven't told any of us about. Like, Davey's no He's like, I know so much Doctor Who news. What is it? I can't tell you. Save it for the show. Save it for the show. Exactly. And they think I have, like, what, Moffat's direct line? Yes. I, yeah, if that's what you want to call the intellectual reach around that you're getting this information. <laughs> <laughs> that's fine. I would neither confirm it. nor deny. Well, at least you're not going to be reading the information like some other panels where the, the person actually speaks as if they were on set. When they, they clearly went to the same point. <laughs> oh, yeah, this is the scarf that you're wearing. Yeah. Stuff like, yeah, 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 yes. So Ames and I were hanging out, right? Yeah. No, you. So, so um, this Photoshop picture of me and Stephen Moffat. <laughs> <laughs> that was an African American gentleman underneath your white face. Come on, man. So, um, we'll start, start off with <laughs> the first <laughs> big piece of 50th anniversary <laughs> news, and I'll, I'll get your reactions to it. Um, I'm going to butcher this man's name. Because I can never yep. pronounce it. Yep. Yep. Oh, okay. it should have been more like that. It's just for you. Can somebody angle the camera like more than that? Okay. <laughs> we, have, we need to get those rating ups, people. <laughs> <laughs> the blind guy's going to do it. Yeah. You know, yes. the phone is very strange. <laughs> no, they stopped watching. Everybody's <laughs> 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 
is really cool. I'm like blushing now. I don't know why. You're not blushing in this shot. <laughs> so our first piece of 50th anniversary news. <laughs> He's going to become the next Travelocity gnome. Oh, yes. <laughs> he's got a fuchsia. What if he's not? You You're going to keep going. Okay. You've got to show the performance. So, so our, first piece, our first piece of 50th anniversary news is um, Benedict. Benedict Cumberbatch? Yes. He is supposedly coming to who finally? Um, and it looks like, this is all rumor, that, you know, we don't have confirmation, that he is actually going to be playing the master. Oh my god. <laughs> now this is actually interesting news because just a couple of weeks prior to this coming out, he said he did not want to be part of Doctor Who because he did not want his face on lunchboxes. <laughs> <laughs> Too bad, Sherlock. Exactly. exactly. <laughs> yes, Sherlock. So, good. Are you happy with this news? Upset with this news? Will you be heartbroken if it doesn't happen? I don't know what happens. Yeah, you pay time to think about it. I will believe it when I see it. I think him aside, Matt Smith, I think that's a good combination. I would like to see John Sim. I would like to see them. But maybe a regeneration? Yeah, no, I, I think that's what we're going to get, is some sort of regeneration. Oh, yeah. Um, because, because pretty much, from, from what I've heard, um, shut up. They have pretty much approached everybody. Everybody of importance for the 50th anniversary. That's all. Yeah. And then? Yeah. Um, <laughs> though, of course, we, we won't get, um, what's his name, Epperson. He's already said now. Yeah. But there was also another little piece of news that, that popped up that kind of got overshadowed by the fact that uh, we have Sherlock possibly coming on to the 50th. Um, we might be getting a classic monster to return. What? Yes, Zygons. Ooh. All right. That's there. The, there was a neither confirm nor deny um, aspect to that rumor um, when when the production crew was asked about this. Yeah, but no, I mean that's that's been the big thing. Um, and also lately, who has been nominated for every single award out there? Yay. We have Nebula. We have Eagle. We have Saturn. Um, so, I mean, they are, they are sweeping it thanks to Mr. Gaiman. Um, and this is a piece of like, rumor, I guess maybe rumor news, I'm not 100% sure of. I hear that we might be getting an Easter special to ho help us hold out until August. Oh, oh my god. <laughs> but I have not been able to actually confirm that. Has anybody heard anything about the April, the, the Easter episode? I'm just checking. Oh, yeah, what you said. Come on, hey, you have Hopping Jesus. Ask him. No, I think Hopping Jesus and the TARDIS would look fantastic together. Hey, actually, look, wait, let's take a look. Let's see if he'll fit. No, it'll fit. Okay. Oh, wow. It has, yeah, it's got a magic. Oh, it's a magic ball. You look under Jesus' robes and you can find your future. I'm not saying <laughs> you're a pervert. He's got a spectacular erector in his bum. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, I mean, that's such a fucking future, right? <laughs> <laughs> it's like we should all sing the theme song. We're not going to do a theme. We're not going to do a sing along. We don't have a bouncy ball with words. We did a sing along last weekend. Do you want to do a sing along? Yes. Okay. Do your sing along. One, two, one, two, three. Someone start asking to the like two, two. Wait, hold on. Hold your One second, one second. Oh, there we go. Thank you. Wait, you might join it. Starting to get time sick. <laughs> yes. Okay. Because we did not get the chance to. We have a lot of crap on the stage. That's terrifying. Oh, God. Oh, God. Hey, Libra, look at you. 
Ah! <laughs> okay, wait, can I just go on record two, to say three, I missed Blake? Four, five, six. <laughs> so we got six people up here. I kind of missed Blake. Well, <laughs> you're really going to miss him in a second. What the fuck did you do with Clayton? I can do it. Wait, I can be Clayton. Two doctors is the best. <laughs> okay. No, so this obviously is still the answer. I was going to stop you. Like, who? Okay. Who wants to win a prize? Derek. Okay, let's see. Whoa, hands are up. I'm not falling for this. You guys are not. <laughs> okay, that's right. We'll, we'll take you. Oh, which of you? We're going to start with you. Which of these lily panelists do you want to try to win a prize for you? Oh. <laughs> oh. Okay, you're going to be playing for the, the... He has a name. <laughs> okay, Jesus. next person I see hang is up, you. Who? You got to look. Oh, okay. oh, buddy. Re oh, remember? Okay, hands again. Oh. <laughs> okay, hands again. Hey, I'm really excited. Who do you want? Angela. Angela. Okay. Wow, this is just like dodgeball in sixth grade. I'm getting angry. <laughs> <laughs> we got two more. I can't. Yeah, I saw you. Get out! Mr. Henderson, don't touch me. Okay. Shout out. Okay. Hopefully, it's your word. Hands again. Oh my God. We'll go with Lee and back. He's got tormented by Chris Ross last night. Oh, thank you. You and me, Teresa. Why do we all do this by Chris Ross? <laughs> So let me get my iPad thing so I can keep score here. Wait, who might be playing iPad? You are playing for her. Oh, yes. Okay. Wait, Candy? <laughs> <laughs> Was that yes? Or no? uh, the lady with the horns. Excellent. The candy horn. Candy horn horn. We're going to call you candy, baby. All right, Jaden, make us dance. Yeah, uh, I'm getting into it. I got to be a little to keep score here for your, uh, for your people. Uh, you do realize technology is supposed to make things easier. What are we doing, like, Nerd Fight Club or something? I want you to be guys are going to be winning some wonderful prizes for your contestants out here. Can I have some of play for me? No. We're already playing for them. Can I just win already? Okay, you guys are going to be answering questions. Oh, shh. The Skinny Trivia, hey. it covers Classic Who and New Who. Can I just oh, apologize yeah, yeah, yeah. for New Who is that covered, right? <laughs> <laughs> I would have to win. Oh. Okay. <laughs> and this is going to be all done on, you know, the honor system. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> oh, you'll we'll see in a second. I will pay someone oh, in the audience yeah. to interpret and dance the correct answer to me. Okay. okay. <laughs> Are you guys ready? <laughs> yeah. No, Your first? No, Wait, we have buzzers? We don't no. Work. No, no, basically, basically you're basically gonna lock in your answers in your head. I'll keep score. That's why I say this is gonna be all based on the answers because I'll be able to tell somebody's line. Fisher's a mind breaker. First question Terror of the Zygons, starring Tom Baker, saw the doctor fighting not just Zygons of the title, but which other mythical monster? Well, you just lock it in and then, and then we'll. Oh, okay. what, then we'll eat. This is all thanks to Billy. Uh, I like what you guys are doing at Missy Okay. Okay. Wait, hold on. <laughs> no cheating. To the internet. Cheating. I'm looking at the picture of my boy. Yeah. It's time to get it. Okay. Are you ready? No. Are you ready? <laughs> sure. Are you ready? Are you good? I, I would prefer to go for last. Let's get ready. Okay. <laughs> so we'll start with Jason down here. No, I last. No. You're locked in, buddy. What was the question? <laughs> I didn't think your baby's picture was so, on Dr. Who. So sadly, <laughs> it was on Wikipedia page. No points for you so far. Okay, Rich, your Rich, answer, please. No, Magellan. Wrong. Circumnavigation. I think so. It was uh, who did Tom Baker fight alongside the Zygons? The Zygons. I think it was a Chupacabra. Wrong. <laughs> no. Oh my god. No. Oh, it's, it's not on DVD yet. <laughs> Allegra. My little ponies. <laughs> oh my god, you got it wrong. <laughs> wait, wait, I didn't get my final answer yet. <laughs> no. Androids. No. Martyr. It was a Loch Ness monster. Loch Ness. Yes. Oh. Yes. Oh. 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 Damn it. <laughs> Is that why you were doing this? Yes! He was trying to give you a hand! I thought you were trying to I was just like, dude, I'm this. I was like, wow, that's impressive. I was like, what? That guy's bragging about it. Angry swan! No, he's strong, like bull. Okay. 
Okay. <laughs> Question number two. Good, good luck next time, guys. Okay. <laughs> Better interpreted than Nancy. Which <laughs> recent doctor and which episode See. does this quote come from? George Clooney. Everybody lives. Uh, the You're not in the <laughs> yeah. They're not the answers. Yeah, we got a luck in our answer. You got luck in the answer. Oh, silently. Yeah. You lucked it in. Okay, you're very excited. I tried for a warrior. Come on. <laughs> you really should use paper and pencils for this one. I know I should have, yeah, but this is a lot more fun. Or at least just panel. markers we could write on the table. Yeah. Yes. Oh, I got a pen. Are you good? Sure. You good? Ah! <laughs> you good? I'm great. What about you? Yes, yes. Okay. We will start a, a with you. Did you bring? We're not the one to answer before we're locking things up. Can we just get more the prize that I want already? I'm first. No. Okay. There are 20 questions here. Oh, <laughs> he's gonna show. No, exactly. Yeah, Lock the door. I vote we only do 11 because that's how many doctors we have. No. So yeah. you have to discard nine. Do to your own. Well, then I'll well, take the nine hardest questions. questions. Okay. <laughs> okay. Yes. Yep. Chris Brackerson. You can speak up. Doctor Dean. What doctor then? Eccleston. Okay. The one I like the least. Really? Yeah. Did you know it? 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 She knew it. It's on her phone. Yes, that's right. So, not just so yeah, not yeah, yeah, yeah. fantastic! Oh, I swear to God. We're going to get a whole time. time. Not everybody lived in that episode. You did not explain the point prize <laughs> ratio rule. Exactly. Like, I think I think, I think, I think I should get a prize for no, that. Not that's yet. Okay. <laughs> Question number three. Yeah, number three. I wanted to see someone do the interpretive <laughs> doctor dance. Come on. Hey, really? So, number three. <laughs> <laughs> Question three. Yes. Electra, focus. Focus. Like, question three out of like. Okay, Sylvester McCoy encountered Excalibur in which story? Sit down. I missed most of those episodes. Are you locked in? The only one I've ever seen that on the name. Locked into what? Vacancy? Your answer. Yes. Okay. Sure.
Oh, yeah. okay, so game check? Yes. Where are we at? So. He's Holland Baker. Yes! Wait, wrong. 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 I thought I said wrong. I am trying. Holland Baker was wrong. Don't take Holland Baker. Yes! You got a point! Yes! I'm going to give you an extra point just for the answer. I was going to say hard now. You okay? I stole a sleep yet the five points. <laughs> no sleep for you. Give me an answer. Uh, what did he say? This is what we didn't answer yet. Battlefield. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Mr. Baker. Mr. Baker. No, it's still here. I gave his final answer. Uh, okay. <laughs> The Easter Bunny. <laughs> okay. It's on the first printing on the 25th anniversary the printing. The anniversary printing. I only have the PAL yeah. DVDs. I don't so, think that's the same thing you can do. Okay. Now keep in mind, you guys aren't going to be, the, the audience won't be able to hear because the camera's over there. So. Yes, okay. So this is going to be another. This, you have one of two answers with this one. Okay. Which doctors have we never seen regenerate on screen? Ooh. Wow. That's me. Ooh, wait, 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 this is what he said. He said, ooh, ee, ma, ah, ting, tang, wala, wala, bing, bang, ooh, ee, ma, ah, ting, tang, wala, wala, bing, bang. Is that what his real name is? Yes. Are you, are you asking for, who we don't see them regenerate into exactly. or after they die? Wait, 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 we don't see it in one medium. Ooh. Ooh. Are you going to do this one? Oh, trunk face. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Who burns? Okay, we'll let her try to hold her hands first. I want to see the video. Okay. Okay, from who to who? Um, from the guy who was before to Exxon. <laughs> <laughs> the guy who was before. Which guy was before? No, no, please. Say Mr. Bates. Because he uh, tried so hard, I'll give you a point for that one. <laughs> okay, I got your point. This is for Bates. Did you say the vision? Switch straight upstairs. No, we saw that. Drew? I will actually give you that as a bonus one because we actually don't. Because it's no, it no, right? no, 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 that's actually not on here. But no, basically, you know, you actually have no, no, no. You actually have the Colin Baker Doctor regenerate. You just have semester. You know, that's a semester emotional like, list. You're making this hey, shit up. Uh, playing both parts. Oh, okay. Yeah. 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 Uh, so yes. We haven't seen Matt Smith regenerate anymore. Nah. <laughs> Star 
heard many a Senka ad in the 90s. He was. He, he made true. great he coffee and he was a, coffee he was a watcher. Guy. And his albums are kind of weird. Yeah, they were. There's one like there's like mug music for elevators. Yeah. yeah. Sounds like it was made while people shag. And it's still the floor of the. Uh, yeah. Okay. And the musical episode of Buffy, which was fantastic. New. And this is gonna be a classic new episode. Yeah. Question. Uh, no. <laughs> Adric was killed at the end of her shot. <laughs> Who had Adric? That was a shared Davy. Spoilers, you bastard. Who had Adric been fighting during that story? Oh my god. Wait, wait, say that again. What? Wait, okay. Say the question. The, okay, Adric died. Yeah. In in the end of her shot. Who had the doctor been fighting during that story? Yeah, I totally know. I want to point out that I'm doing so badly, my guy left her. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody wins a prize. That means the highest master had this. Exactly. Okay, we're going to start with you, Jason. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, the two doctors. <laughs> <laughs> no. The Cyberman. Yes! I meant Cyberman. Cyber. <laughs> Cyber. I don't like being next to people when they have my ears. Yes. Right. What? No, weren't they fighting the dinosaurs? Man. Right? Yeah. And they, 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 they decided to feed the dinosaurs by crashing the ship. Oh! Did you eat some stuff from the concrete? <laughs> <laughs> This is going way back to somebody who has just passed. Peter Cushing. Aww. Aww. Who was the first doctor to work with Alistair Lethbridge Stewart? Ooh. I don't know, but damn. We're just cleaning when we need them. That was a hint. Yeah, I know exactly who it is now. Two doctors. <laughs> yeah, two doctors. <laughs> Sorry, I'm allergic to nerds. <laughs> <laughs> so, you are so 
the wrong right. place. <laughs> so will our 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 our, our players step up? Not these players, those players out there. What did they do? They sat through us for forty minutes. Okay, Drew. Who's, who was playing for Drew? Okay, person that's playing with Drew, you get first pick of some really awesome cool prizes. Oh shit! What are you doing? Because you chose correctly. You've been chasing the wrong person. You can choose. You expect everybody to sleep. Yes. So you get some really awesome cool prizes. We're not giving away the iPhone or the iPad as prizes. I don't know, man. They're on the table. You get to look. You get seven minutes in Time Lord Heaven with Mr. David Beauchamp. It's a great artist. Actually, a bunch of the people uh, that yeah. contribute to that anthology are here this weekend. Yes. So we have. Durkin, Durkin. I'm going to get this. Okay, cool. And then everybody else is coming right now, as fast as you can, and grab a prize! Not you guys! <laughs> I want the awesome Spider-Man coloring book. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Show your prize to the camera. Oh, so they're not very awesome Spider-Man coloring. Woo! No, just look at this. It's just amazing. That's a great book. It's hard to sleep. I've got a little boy at home. I need a turn to sleep. Did you know we get anything for you? Yes. I call the dibs on the... Hey! Hey! My little boy is from the Randy Vito scene. And everybody else? You can come up here and we have some uh, cool little pin for everybody. Oh, wait, what? 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 Throw Choco. Choco. Don't blink. Open them first. What are you doing? Don't blink. Don't talk. Pins, please. What about people that are hard to get out of here? For our April first episode. Yes. 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 What? What did you find the second series? A Florian. Is that the first series? Okay. Pin. 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 Anybody else want pins? Thank you. So, <laughs> so, no, ten minutes. Yes. So, 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 what horrible, evil things do you want to say about me now? At this point, for making you go through that travesty. Oh, I'll destroy any hope you have in your knowledge. I think you don't know how to run a trivia contest. <laughs> 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 Davey, I think you're a fucking delightful person. I enjoy being in your company. So oh. much. <laughs> Why are you wearing a skirt? Yeah, boys wear pants. Or at least boys don't wear boxers under them. Are you just wearing boxers under them? Are you a fancy boy? No, that might be protected for the audience. He would be careful if they were kids. I thought you said he was wearing. <laughs> Jesus Christ! <laughs> so, one, one last question for, for these guys up here. Yes. Just because I love hearing them talk. Here, look at my job. <laughs> Who is your doctor and why? Oh, see what our prize is. <laughs> we'll start with you, Teresa. I love, I love our current doctor. I love him because he's a very, very old soul, but he has these very giddy moments, and it... I don't know why, but he just sort of seems like at any minute, like I could be the next companion and run around and have wacky adventures with him. I never got the vibe that I'd get along with any of the other doctors. So. Not even Peter Davidson? I, I didn't think we would click on a certain level. I just, yeah. but, <laughs> but he's Peter Davidson. <laughs> he, he, he was the cow at the restaurant of the Universe that told you what parts to eat. 
He was yeah, also a very good veterinarian. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Allegra. 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 I don't like it. What? I don't like who? I don't like that. <laughs> so, Allegra, who is your doctor? Hugh Grant. Thank you. Oh, that's Spark Grant. Twilight movie. Or, uh, you know, like I, I said Matt last time. Matt Damon. <laughs> <laughs> Matt Damon. Uh, I am, I'm a big fan of whatever doctor I'm watching at the time. Right now I'm watching, uh, almost done with Tom Baker, about to start on, on your doctor. So good. Just, good? Yeah. Sorry, I, I, I'll admit, Tom Baker was ruined for me when I started watching the beside, be, be, behind the scenes interviews with Tom Baker. You started listening to his suit. Oh God! <laughs> yeah, I was, I was, I was very disheartened when, when I when I heard his his ego that he had on set. Really? Yeah, it was really bad. Oh, that's just yeah. Well, I mean, he had Romana fired and replaced. Yeah. Yeah. You know. Angela. Well, this is an actor I played Water David Tennant. So, and Eric. Hamlet with um, Patrick Stewart. Oh, yeah. You need to watch it. It's oh, spectacular. Yes, I haven't seen that. I want to. It's It's a big draw between him and Matt Smith right now. I mean, I like old school view, and I have doctors from the crew I like, but I've been watching more of them recently, so I've kind of latched onto them a little bit more right now. So no John Pertwee Invasion of the Dinosaurs? I you have no love? Invasion of the Dinosaurs is freaking amazing, and the new DVD has a special feature talking about the puppets that they use. Look out, a pterodactyl! Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so rich. Rowan Atkinson. Rowan Atkinson. That's a joke answer. Uh, a serious answer, definitely Matt Smith. He, he brings that kind of... Uh, that eccentric professorial vibe to the doctor uh, definitely plays it as an old soul, but can have a darkness and a playfulness much like a, a little child has. And so uh, with being able to play something so young in the oldest way, it's just, it's just really strange dynamic that shouldn't exist, but yet does. <coughs> uh, I get torn. Sometimes, like, I've been watching a lot of the, the Eccleston episodes lately, and for me, my favorite doctor is, is inherently going to be tied into the writer. Like, I, I like a lot of Eccleston performances, but maybe not necessarily the writing. But if I, if I had to tag him a bolt, it's, it's the combination of Matt's, that came out. What are we phrase that in the If I had to do a Time Lord spit rose, um, <laughs> a little if I get, yeah, a little wibbly wobbly in my tummy wimey, it's fine. Oh. That's that's children. Fun. Yeah, perfect. <laughs> I mean, for me, the perfect combination is Matt Smith, uh, uttering Stephen Moffat's words, um, and it's, it's not necessarily like the episodes of Moffat writes. I mean, you know, I mean, you know, the one that came in rope. I mean, it's just like Matt Smith. It, it's like it's like Rich said. I mean, he, he automatically embodies the exoteric and the esoteric. He's got that childlike innocence, and he can automatically switch to that childlike ferocity. Um, and you know, uttering uttering Stephen Moffat's words is just a brilliant combination to me. And that's why I mean, he's he, he's my favorite out of out of the new. So this is this actually just sitting here watching you guys answer this answer this question, especially it was so new, who heavy. What do you want to see when the regeneration comes? I mean, what sort of what sort of actor? I mean, what sort of doctor would you like? Because I mean, we are. Kyle Rose and, and Martha Jones, and then a little bit of Amy Pond in a tub full of Jello. That's not a doctor. <laughs> that, that, that's a fantasy. No, I mean, honestly, because I mean, most likely at the end of the 50th, we are going to lose Smith. I mean, what, I mean, wh who or what do you want to see replace him? An Irish doctor, like Roy from the IT crowd. Yeah. Nice. <laughs> I would almost, yes. I would almost rather see Moss. Let's <laughs> see a ginger doctor. <laughs> He's like, oh, I'm not ginger. I'm trying turning the setting about on about and off again. <laughs> Richmond, no. no. Richmond. No. <laughs> Hopefully. Okay. Okay. Since, since he just said it, I will say my one thing. No. Do you see a female doctor? I want to see Heather Miro. 
That's who I was. That's Holy who I was. cow! I'm gonna say Dame Helen here in her red bikini fighting ducks. <laughs> Did you see that Saturday Night Skit? You need to look it up. Yeah. And the mayor's boots. I would watch Meryl Streep. Well, thank you for clarifying that. Yeah. She wins all the Oscars. Drew, what would you like to see? Um, well, I don't want to see Matt Smith go. Me neither. I don't want to leave. Don't make me leave. Don't make me leave. Are you well, mad me? I was, was um, looking through some uh, Doctor Who magazines a couple nights ago, and um, um, before they announced Smith, they <laughs> were... Um, Talking about how the booking agents in Vegas were like betting on the, the, the odds of who was going to yeah. be the next doctor, uh, and I don't remember the actor's name, uh, but the three to one odds was, was actually going to be uh, a black doctor, which I thought would have been awesome. Idris yeah. Elba. Um, is that oh, who it was? Yes. Yeah, yeah. That, that was the yeah. main. That was the main. Right, 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 right. Yes. He played. Uh, I'm Dolphin. I mean, that guy is Ted's oh, brilliant. Yeah, Jordan. that, that would have been wild. brilliant. I mean, um, but what I think would be kind of interesting is to see a. a a difference, a really, they can pull it off with a, just a, a vastly different attitude. I don't really just want to, I love the childhood insight, I love the wiseness that Matt Smith brings to it, but it would be interesting um, to see almost a less frenetic, less energetic, and, and um, would you like to see him go older? What do you want, like emo doctor? Like he's gonna no, 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 I would mind seeing um, uh, no, no, James Nesbitt, actually. Towards the end. James Nesbitt. Nesbitt from, Yes, uh, from, from Jekyll. Jekyll. Yes. Um, yeah, right. Jekyll uh, would be very interesting <laughs> to see. Um, someone would be very, very different. Because uh, there's Matt Smith. Yes, some. Uh, they kind of eased Matt Smith in from from Tenet. I think there's some great similarities, which I love. But it would be something that's vastly different. Because look at some of our early doctors. They were kind of bastards. I mean, they yeah. were avuncular bastards, but you can have an avuncular bastard, and I think it would be avuncular. That's the word of the day. Sorry, uncle hyphen like. Um, uh, oh, you know, Stormy Kenton. Grandparently, um, but see. Stormy Kenton. Oh. Now yeah, Stormy. Oh. He's Stormy Kenton. Right, I would actually like to add to that, and unfortunately it won't happen if he is actually cast as the master, and that would be Benedict Cumberbatch. Yeah. Because if yes. he played it similar to how he's doing Sherlock with that just total jerk yes. issues, I think yeah. I think it would it would be a really fun way to see the Doctor just being basically a dick to people. But Cumberbatch, as an actor, wouldn't want to play that at the, the, a different part the same way. He would he would want to do something. I imagine. Well, next time you talk to him, you tell him. Yes. Well, <laughs> when when Davies on the phone, challenge the phone. accepted. <laughs> <laughs> no, but from some of the same interviews, um, yeah, yeah. yeah. Do you want I, the I, number? I Number batches? Oh, yeah. Sure. Okay, I'll give it to you. I've, I've got, I've got mafia bonds on the screen. But yes, um, as as the Facebook web mistress says, she, she's making. Go like our Facebook page, Y'all Big Pirate Radio. Type it into the search engine. Or you can use these awesome QR codes that I made up. What is QR codes. QR codes. I already yeah, scanned mine. Yeah. yeah. Oh. Oh, these gotcha. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, look. I guess they're looking at it. Cross your eyes. So, there we go. Get your cameras. It's a scooter. <laughs> but, um, I'd like to thank this sure. utter insanity. I would actually like to thank all of you because you honestly have just made this the largest attended GPR insanity yeah, we've yeah. ever had. <laughs> I have absolutely no idea. Because normally this is a workshop in reading room. And they decided to put us in here because they thought we would get nobody to attend. I was supposed to do a reading. Well, with this, with all this, we may get to programming next year. Oh, that'd be awesome. Actually, yeah, you actually made this awesome. But this is on a GPR signing out. Wave to the camera, everybody. Bye. Wave goodbye to the camera. <laughs>